didn't have elements in it which were offensive or aggressive towards Venezuela. It didn't make outrageous demands on the government of Venezuela. That was the declaration which the 14 CARICOM countries stood by at the OAS. And they were supported by several other Latin American countries. And that is why the forces were lined up behind the Peruvian the Peru Re Re um, declaration. Back away. And I'm so proud as to, uh, as to what CARICOM did. And remember this, we are 14 countries of just about 16 million people. It is a remarkable effort in diplomacy. We are not siding with this or that contending force in Venezuela. CARICOM has governments of different political stripes and persuasion. The fundamental principles of non-interference, of sovereignty and independence, and what difficulties exist, let us have a conversation as to how we can play a role to help to resolve those challenges and difficulties, as simple as that. Between now and then, they're going to try again. Because imperialism doesn't sleep. They're not going to give up. And CARICOM has to maintain its unity. Otherwise, we are going to have insanity. And it shows that small states, buttressed by fundamental bedrock principles, can prevent a descent into disorder and lawlessness. The Bolivarian Revolution is a light in this moment in history. And it is a light that the forces of, uh, of, of economic domination, of imperialism, are trying their very uh, hardest to out. But I want to say something. They cannot out that light. They never will be able to.